Hi guys, this is the old dude. I'm getting ready to make my bed here. What you see here in front of you is a bed off a 65 Chevy pickup. Got it standing on its headboard. The bed floor was pretty well rotten out, I believe. People had had it before I just received it. I ripped the bed floor out of it, pretty much. I've got to finish disassembling the thing. In other words, I've got to unmake my bed before I can make my bed. This bed has had a pretty good usage, although it hasn't got a super lot of rust on it. It does have plenty of rust right down here on the fender well, for instance, right down in here. That flange is rotted. That's going to have to be taken out and replaced. This stake box right here is rusted pretty good and there's actually a rest hole through the side of the bed although it's the only one it is and it's a very small one. I'll have to put in a patch that's probably like two and a half inches square or something like that to get clear out away from the rust. Main problem right now is breaking these beds down and anybody that knows anything about these your trucks and is taking them apart will tell you this can be a bitch of a job. Just outside where the bed meets the floor, the bed actually sits on top of the bed floor and is held down in place with regular carriage bolts. They got the square head with the round dome over the top, but the metal gets fatigued around them and when you try to undo the rusty nut, it, the metal won't hold, it's not heavy enough. So most of the time you can't get the bolt to unscrew. You, the only way I've found to do this is to take my cutting wheel. I've got one of these really expensive Harbor Freight $10 ones. <laughs> it seems to be working just fine. I've got some of their 3 inch cutting wheels there. So far I've taken out two-thirds of the stringers on here. I've got to take these stringers out. In order to get them off, I'm taking the wheel and I'm cutting off the head. The carriage bolt has the round head, but I'm stripping it back to the shank, back to the square shoulder, so it can pop through. Also, you'll notice, if you take one of these beds apart, that the bed rails themselves Okay, these are the stringer bed rails that go across the bed on the 66, 65 Chevy pickup bed rail. On my other video, I showed that I was going to put these in the witch's brew. This is a witch's brew. We're going to pull these out now. I, I can only get one end in there. I used a, a barrel that's barely about half the width of the stringer in depth but this is the mung that's coming off from them. We're going to put these out across the bed and use the pressure washer on them and see what they come out like now. And then I'll flip them over and put them back in and clean the other end up if we get this end that's in there clean. Okay, we'll be back here shortly.
Okay. It isn't completely cleaned off. But it sure took a lot of it off. It's not flaky and crummy like over here on this side anymore. I still got to clean that up. What I'll do now is I'll put the other end down in the barrel. And I'll probably put it back in until that soaks some more and this side cleans clear off. But this is the original metal right here. There's, it's cleaned most of the gunk off from it. Clean the paint off from it, clean the rust off from it, and all I did is poke them in the barrel. I haven't done anything with them at all. Well, yeah, we'll come back when we get some more on this and show you what we got when we get all finished up with it. Talk to you later. Bye.